Hello folks, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on vulnerable time in CSMA MAC protocol. The length of time in which there is a possibility of collision is defined as the vulnerable time. Let's consider a network that consists of four nodes A, B, C and D. Now, the amount of time that it takes for the head of the signal to propagate from one end of the shared medium to the other is called the propagation time. In this example, when node A transmits a frame, and if any other node tries to send a frame during this time, then the two signals will collide and consequently a collision will result. But when the first bit of the frame reaches the end of the shared medium, which is equal to propagation time, every node will already have heard the bit based on the career sense mechanism of CSMA and will refrain from transmitting their own frame. Therefore, in CSMA, this gray area, which is equal to the propagation time, is actually the vulnerable area in time and space. More specifically, the leftmost node A transmits a frame at time T1, which reaches the rightmost node D at time 1 plus propagation time, which is equal to the vulnerable time. To conclude, the vulnerable time for CSMA is the propagation time TP. And that's all folks on vulnerable time in CSMA.